What's going on, Geminites? Gem Mint here. With me releasing that statue sales video the other day, I thought it would be the perfect time to release this video because some people get all freaked out when I start selling statues. Like, are you not going to collect anymore? What are you doing? So I think this video is going to be a good video to show you what I'm most anticipating for 2021 as far as statue releases and kind of my plan and why I decided to sell a few pieces. Before we get started, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Plus, I'm announcing the 125,000 subscriber giveaway right now. We're going to be giving away this Sideshow Collectibles Spider-Man Premium Format Exclusive, the most recent version. If you want to know what you got to do to enter, just stay tuned until the end of the video. Now, these statues are in no particular order. I didn't rank them. There are 10 of them, but some of them have honorable mentions. The first one we're going to talk about is from Prime One Studio from the Berserk line, Skull Knight on Horse. This piece is scheduled to be released sometime between April and July of this year, and I hope they're able to stick to that date and that there aren't any delays. This piece looks amazing. It's a huge piece with Skull Knight on top of a horse, on top of this very large base, how Prime One normally does their Berserk statues. Uh, it's chock full of detail. I don't really think I need the DX version. I don't need a bunch of different switch out arms and heads and things like that. Personally, I would rather just have one version that doesn't have switch outs. But uh, I'm definitely looking forward to this piece. And I got to give a honorable mention to the Skull Knight not on horseback that Prime One is doing, which is scheduled to be released in November, sometime between then and February of 2022. I really like this piece because I love the exclusive, the Bellet, the uh, Egg of the Perfect World, the one that incubates Femto to be reborn as Griffith. Uh, that one looks really cool. It's less of a footprint. It's just kind of like a museum pose of Skull Knight standing straight upward, but I need that Bellet. I probably will get both of these guys. All right, next up from Iron Studios is the Sentinel Diorama number one. This one has already released overseas, and I think Chinese New Year uh, halted release for February in the States. So this should be coming out in March. It's one of my most anticipated pieces, and it's the reason why I sold my quarter scale X-Men line. Although I would have liked to have kept both, I just don't have the space, man. The walls are literally closing in around me here. So uh, I decided to sell my quarter scale X-Men line to make room for these guys. And I just really love these, especially after I got to see these in person. They are huge. And when you have all three Sentinels with all the little proximity pieces, it's just an awesome display. So the Sentinel Diorama 1 comes with Beast, Rogue, Wolverine, Jubilee, and Cyclops. I already have the little Mystique, Cable, and Professor X. And besides the other two dioramas, they have all these other one-tenth scale proximity pieces that they announced and that I've seen, like Deadpool, Silver Samurai, Blob, uh, Pyro, even Nightcrawler, which we've never seen a quarter scale statue for. So uh, that's the reason why I decided to go in this direction, and I don't think I'm going to regret it. i uh, got to give a honorable mention to the Sentinel diorama number two which is saying it should ship sometime between March and May. So maybe a couple of months after the first diorama, we're going to be getting the second one. This one is a little bit of a smaller one as far as its height, but it has Juggernaut, Gambit, and Magneto with like a half of a Sentinel crawling out of the grave <laughs> kind of look. So I'm uh, really excited for these Sentinel dioramas, and they are definitely worthy of this list. All right, next up, another Berserk piece or pieces from Prime One Studio. This is Slan with Ubik. So the last two members of the God Hand, and this will complete the five members of the God Hand for my Maju case display downstairs. This one was already supposed to be released. I have it pre-ordered through Sideshow, but I think, or I heard, there was some kind of delay with the hair on Slan. They went back to the factory to retool some things, maybe to help with breakages. I don't know what it was. Uh, this is kind of an X-rated piece depending on the angle, so it's going to take some creativity for me to be able to uh, review these guys. I, and I don't know how I'm going to feel about Ubik with that long pole to give him that floating illusion. I kind of wish maybe it wasn't a proximity piece and it was somehow built into the base with Slon. But either way, uh, I'm super excited for it. And believe it or not, Fee's really looking forward to this piece as well. She loves Slon. And let's just get the last Berserk piece out of the way from Prime One Studio. It's Casca from the Golden Age arc. This, pa this piece looks great and is going to companion well with everything else I got going on there. It's scheduled to be released sometime between August and November. Uh, I'm hoping that they're able to keep that one up. I'm definitely looking forward to pairing her next to maybe Griffith or Guts. or We have to actually rearrange that Maju case, but Casca quarter scale is most anticipated for sure. All right, next up from PCS is the Optimus Prime. I guess you they call it uh, classic scale or is it museum scale? It's the big one. 
So I really am liking this line, this ripped out of the cartoon look with the cell shading. Uh, he does look a little boxy, but I still really want to pair him up with Megatron and Starscream. I'm loving this line so far, and I hope it leads to more of this scale with these classic Transformers pieces. So Optimus Prime, I think it's already on the way over here based on the PCS newsletter. So we'll probably see this in March. All right, next up from Sideshow Collectibles, we have the Batman Who Laughs premium format sculpted by Raph Grissetti. This one uh, is scheduled to be released sometime between October and December, so fourth quarter. And we got to see this when we went to Sideshow for their New York Comic Con. And this piece is amazing. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get any footage of it, but me and Fee got to see it in person. So much detail going on here. So much uh, expression with the face and the hand. I do like the switch out axe. I'm glad they didn't go with Robin Crows based on this piece. It looks like it really wasn't needed, but a uh, really great design and paint job on this guy. And can't wait to get this one in. All right, next up from Sideshow is their new Batman premium format. And I love this piece. And I've always said, I really haven't found a quarter scale Batman that I really liked, that I really wanted to own. I ended up getting that uh, collaboration between Prime One and Sideshow for the Batman New 52, but I always kind of felt like he was overscaled. I mean, he towers over Bane. So I didn't really like that. This one I fell in love with. I like the artistic look. It kind of reminds me of those 90s Batman Legends comics like that tied into Nightfall with that long drooping draping cape. Looks like he's got a curtain on his back, but the way that it goes over its shoulders and how it bunches up to the bottom, I love it. I always liked the blue and gray look on Batman, and this one is blue and gray, but it's still dark. That's what I love about this piece. This one is scheduled to be released soon, man, sometime between March and April, so I cannot wait to get this one in. Kind of a smaller footprint, but I think it has a lot of presence, and it's going to look great up high, looming over the room. All right, another one from Sideshow. We have their new Spider-Man Symbiote Premium format, and I really uh, think this looks good with that Batman. It's the same kind of vibe, the same type of looming on the top of a building towering over the city. This one's scheduled to be released sometime between August and October. And they did a really great job on their last Symbio Premium format. I have high hopes for this one. Again, small footprint, kind of just a very vertical piece, but I, I think it's gonna look great in the collection. I might even have this next to that Batman. They look so good together. All right, next one from Sideshow. It's the Dark Side Premium format. Awesome piece. We did get to see this one in person and capture some footage for their uh, Sideshow Con New York. This one's scheduled to be released sometime between July and September. I love the beefiness to him. Very comic book accurate. He is imposing. He looks confident and powerful at the same time. Love the paint, uh, the paint applications when they're doing this glow effect. They've been doing that on some pieces recently, and I think it looks really good. Uh, definitely want a new Superman to go with this guy. Maybe one without mixed media. I don't know. I need some good quarter scale Superman suggestions in the comments. And the last one on the list is from XM Studios. It's the Spider-Man 2099. One of my favorite characters of all time. I really like what Prime One did with theirs, although there was some pieces with the base I didn't really like and the cape was a little too brittle. So I'm hoping XM Studios learned from those mistakes for this one. I definitely like the base. It ties more into Nueva New York or Nueva York, the futuristic New York City with kind of one of these hovercraft uh, government spy enemies. I forget the name. I want to say Brother Eye, but that's Batman. Anyway, public eye, maybe? Uh, and I think that the costume looks great, just as detailed as that Prime 1 with all the textures, the raised up emblems, and mask face emblem. Uh, I'm not sure what that cape's going to be made of, but hoping to, it's just not going to be as brittle as the Prime 1, because mine fell off and broke in half just from falling. So uh, definitely looking forward to this and uh, seeing what other XM Studios pieces come out this year. So that is my... 10 kind of most anticipated statues of 2021 let me know what you're looking forward to the most for your collection in the comments below and which ones you're looking forward for me to review the most like i said we're going to give away this sideshow collectible spider-man premium format exclusive all you got to do is be subscribed to the channel and comment on this video and any video where i promote the giveaway once we hit 125,000 subscribers we'll do a live stream and pick a random video where i promoted the giveaway and use a random youtube comment generator to draw a worldwide winner check out our partners at street level hero who have exclusive variants they do drops every tuesday and thursday and they have a brand new children of the atom one variant which looks amazing you guys can pick that up or any other variants 
on their page and use the code GEMINT to save 10%. That code is good for life. You can use it every time you shop there. Or their sister company, that's SpidermanBooth.com, have an amazing giveaway prize for their current round of mystery boxes. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures Issue 1, graded at a 9.6 by CGC. This book is on fire. Basically, it's a $30 mystery box where you can save 10 bucks by using the code GEMINT as a one-time use per customer. You'll get five comics of retail value, and one of those boxes is going to include that giveaway prize. This is going to last from today until Saturday, so jump in and get you a mystery box. I appreciate you guys watching. Check out my other statue unboxing and reviews in the playlist to the right, and stay minty fresh. Peace.